If my girlfriend walked in on me watching hardcore porn, she'd just be like, gross. If she walked in on me watching this, it's over. She's out the door. <laughs> If you go on YouTube a lot, you might have noticed that there's a whole world of video called eye contact practice. There are tons of these videos. They're basically all the same thing. A cute model staring into camera for about five minutes silently for you to practice eye contact on. A lot of them have borderline creepy names like cute girl looks at you or model eagerly listens to you, but they seem like they're genuinely trying to help people and I have problems with eye contact. I have coworkers who have problems with eye contact. So we're gonna try one of these videos and see if they actually help. I'm really bad at eye contact, especially when I'm talking to people who are very good at eye contact. When I make eye contact with people, I just feel like I need to look away. I'm a big dude, so if I give eye contact, I feel like the other person is intimidated by me. I'm gonna get eaten alive in the comments. He's intimidating. <laughs> I completely freeze up. Going on dates, it can be very awkward. I feel like I'm being rude. I feel like it holds me back a little bit. I feel like it would benefit me to be better at it. So I'm gonna click on this video and see what happens. Hello, nice to meet you. You have a nice smile. This is really hard. <laughs> like, I feel like I'm embarrassed. It's kind of intimate in a way. This is more difficult than I thought it would be. Her makeup is done very well. Can you try saying that to her? <laughs> Your makeup is done very well. She nodded. <laughs> I feel like I'm actually doing better than I thought, just because it is a video. It's not somebody who's actually here. This for me doesn't feel awkward. This is something I can handle. I think I might be into this. I kind of want to do this again. Okay, so it's been about one week since we tried these eye contact practice videos. After we shot the video, none of us were that impressed. Uh, I'm not sure that I'm cured. I feel like I would have to watch several videos like this to get to that level of comfort. But then off camera, right after we all noticed an immediate difference. Now that, like before I said that this couldn't help someone, but I have to take my words back. I'm, I'm saying bring your eyes back. I wanna yeah. look, I wanna look directly at you now. I don't know what you did to me. It's like even talking to me right now, you're making more eye contact. I know. Are you? Help. Yeah. Did it actually help? Uh, yeah, actually. That, uh, that immediate comfort reaction definitely wore off. I was better at eye contact the day we practiced, yeah. but there are a few days that have gone by and you can see I'm still struggling right now. It's a gradual process, I think. It's not something that anybody can just like get over right away from watching one video, but I'm now thinking more about it and trying to actively correct. Yeah, me too. So yeah. I'm gonna look for other means of eye contact practice. Maybe I'll find you one day and I'll just come up to you and just stare at you for 30 seconds. I really think that if you have serious anxiety around making eye contact and you have a job interview or you have a date that you're nervous about, I actually recommend making eye contact with the weird stranger lady for five full minutes because there really was an immediate change and it couldn't hurt. So thank you, YouTube. I'm not weird anymore. Yay! It just doesn't feel right. <laughs> <laughs>